This is the second part of my video improving this Kids Marin Hidden Canyon. Stick around to the end and see what it looks like. First thing I'm going to do is pop this chain off. Now we've got a much improved rear mech that we're going to stick on here. It's a Shimano SLX, a couple of years old now, but it came up on one of my other bikes uh, and it's in much better condition than the one that was on there. Because it's a seven speed, um, basically we can use seven, eight, nine speed rear mechs and the pull ratio will be the same. This rear mech is significantly higher quality than the one that came on the bike. Cables, that's what we need to put on the bike. Now, I've got some of this sweet pink Jaguar stuff. We've got shift cables, useful for gear shifting. quite like these Jaguar kits because you always get a nice selection of uh, cable ends and rubber bits and stuff to, to use with them. No twisting required. So we're going to need one of these cables. I'll see if the shorter one does. So I'm going to use the existing outer to um, take the length from a new outer because the length of the old one was almost exactly perfect. I think it was a tiny touch too long. I'll shorten it a bit. Cable routing, we're going to run this cable closer to the bike than the previous cable ran. I'm going to clip it up under here and I think it is going to connect perfect. I'll just nip that up so that we can hold it in place and clip this on. So we'll quickly bind some zip ties on this, hold the cable in place. Now I'm going to remove this horrible plastic disc designed to save your um, Folks from getting the chain in them. I'm hoping to set the bike up so it actually works. Pachow! As Lightning McQueen would say. Since I've got this off, I'm going to give it a wee wipe up because it's absolutely gritty and horrible looking. And I may as well clean the back of the cassette as well. What's the harm in that, eh? Man, this thing's filthy. I'm taking it outside and washing it. There we go. Just going to put this on, line up the big bit with the big bit. Big gap with the big poly pinion-y thingy me bobber. Looks much better, saved like 10 grams. Gonna give this dirty chain a quick clean up with some isopropyl alcohol. Don't spray this stuff on your hands, it's like super bad for your skin. Surgical spirit and all day.
you want to make this easy for yourself, it's important to uh, not do exactly the stuff that I've been doing. Don't leave these long and in the way, bits of cable tie. <laughs> make sure you've got the little chain link piece that you have to push in facing out the way and not in the way so you don't have to work behind the bike to tighten the um, chain tool. You know, just all these little simple things that would make your life easy instead of hard. Do them. Set the chain tool before you start putting it in. Yeah, plenty of things you can do to not be an idiot like me. This is just too annoying. I'm going to have to do it properly. Next, we've got the matching pink brake cables. These Jaguar kits come with the little barrels for the kind of brakes we've got here and some of the road barrels as well. So you can cut either end off the cables and yeah, it's a pretty good idea. If you're wondering why I'm not upgrading this bike to hydraulic disc brakes, the, there's two reasons. One, because it's relatively expensive. And two, because I found that my kids have got um, real difficulty not just locking the brakes up. They seem to find it difficult to modulate the brakes anything other than on and off with the current hydraulic brakes that they've got. Whereas with the cable pull disc brakes, because they're a bit harder to pull to make the wheels lock up, they're kind of a little bit more sort of in control of the braking rather than just grabbing a big handful. So I've decided no more hydraulic brakes uh, until I'm reasonably sure that they can cope with the ease of use or ease to pull the lever and make the wheel lock up. We need to snip the end off. And also importantly, I need to find the piece that I'm trying to copy exactly. There we go, put it down here. That cable's gonna be exactly the same, just pink. Finally decided which side of the fork to run the cable. I'm going to go with the inside even although it's slightly worse than the outside for getting the right angle on the uh, on the brake cable against the brake. It's just a bit neater and tidier and the cable won't catch anything. It is a shame that it's not been designed to line up nicely though. That can be our first guess for where we end up with this. I'm going to take the end of this cable off so it's not too long. Leave a bit just in case we have it wrong. Yep. The cable's offering almost no resistance, which is perfect. Um, but we definitely need to set the Set the brake a lot tighter than that. Bit of lever movement before the brake comes on will let me adjust it in for a really short, short reach. And man, that brake's working better than it was. It feels so smooth. The back one feels absolutely disgusting to try and pull. It's like one of those hand strengthener things. The front one's just super smooth. So yeah, these new cables are gonna make a big difference to how good this brake bike slows down. This cable routine is going to matter a little bit more than it usually does when you're doing hydraulic brakes because you actually have to bend a metal cable around the corner. Yep, that's going to work nice. <clears throat> Thank you. 
based on the front brake, I'm going to guess to there. Nice, that's going to work a treat. I don't even think I'm going to have to mod to change that. So we'll zip tie some cables on. Maybe Bessie is in two hands. <laughs> That's much easier. And the reason I'm putting these zip ties on this way around is so that I don't end up with any little spiky edges pointing towards where the kids' fingers are going to be. There's one other thing I like to do to make sure that we don't end up with too many sharp little cable ends. I've got some straight cutting um, snips that are meant for model making, but they basically allow you to cut the ends off the cable ties and you never end up with a sharp edge on it unless you deliberately cut it squint. So you can basically get yourself a really smooth flat edge on the back of your cable ties that doesn't have anything pointy. So if you're going to use cable ties, a set of model making uh, side cutters with a straight flat edge um, it's quite a good thing to have. Next I'm going to spend a little bit of time adjusting the reach on these levers so that they can work with the tiny little hands of my daughter. Unfortunately they are super stiff and it's going to take me ages to turn them, so I'm not even going to bother letting you watch it in video because, you know, turning this little grub screw to make the lever reach a bit shorter is not super exciting stuff. Just remembering the colour requests that I got from my daughter, I thought, blue cable ends, that's a good idea. So here's this bike and it's sort of finished. Guys, I'm going to need to try and find some reasonable priced decent pedals. Possibly switch that grip shift up to some normal shifters because it's kind of awkward to use. Don't even like it after I've ridden it myself. And switch the tyres out. So after I went outside and took some nice pictures of the bike, I came back inside and I realised that there's probably more chance of us being struck by lightning on our bike ride than there is of what that old sort of plasticky chain device type thing had of keeping the chain on. So I pulled it off and this is how the bike is now looking. So stick your uh, suggestions in the comments below please for what pedals or what tyres I should be getting. I'm told I can get some Maxxis Mini and DHFs in 20 inch. Uh, so that sounds like a good plan. Um, Pedal-wise, I can't think of anything that I know of that's small and cheap, um, but still has a reasonable amount of grip. So anyway, this is how the bike looks, even with that little bit of dirt under the bottom bracket there. Didn't get in and clean that because there was a plastic horrible thing on there and I just noticed the dirt. Thanks for watching.